Here's why we need to be grateful for the party that we're making and for the sales that we make for our pottery as well. What is up, Shipping Nation? This is Nick Torres here. And for those that don't know me, it is my mission to help potters like yourself to discover your own unique voice with your pottery and to not only find your unique voice, but also be able to sell your pottery as well. So I recently just had my very first pottery sale. And while I wanted more sales, I only ended up getting three sales. But I'm truly grateful to what those three sales provided me. I'm truly grateful that I got those three sales because these three sales are going to really help me grow as a person, grow as a potter. And I'm truly grateful for those three sales because if I didn't have those three sales, I would still be kind of stuck wondering if I could sell my pottery at all or if I can actually do these things. And I'm truly, truly grateful. And I think it's so important for us to try to practice gratitude with our with our pottery, right? We may be doing something right now and we, let's say you are throwing on the wheel and you are, you keep failing and failing and failing and failing and failing. And all of a sudden you, you just kind of want to stop. You stop for a little bit and then you get back onto the wheel and this time you're able to make something that you had in your mind. You had the vision in your mind, but you weren't able to make that because of the failure. If you didn't have the failures. And that's why it's important to be grateful for those moments, whether you're failing, whether you're not failing, whether you're winning, whether you're getting only three sales, or you're getting 15 sales. If you can be grateful for those things that you are happening to yourself and to your pottery, it's going to be, you're going to have that much joy for what you are doing. I learned this from Tony Robbins from like one of his courses that he put out. And basically he said, gratitude leads to a happier life. And I think it's so, so true with our pottery as well. If you are failing, be grateful for that failure and try to learn something. If you only got a couple sales and you're expecting to get sell out all of your pottery, be grateful for the sales that you got because before you couldn't have even pictured that you were getting sales. Be grateful for things that happened to you, to your pottery, because who knows, that may lead to something new down the road. And not only that, just being grateful just kind of makes you an overall happier person. You're not so down in the dumps. Like Try it right now. I challenge you to be grateful for any random thing, and you're not going to feel any hate toward it. You're actually going to feel happy toward it. Maybe you're grateful for coffee. Maybe you're grateful for the pot, a pottery tool. Maybe you're grateful for eggs. Whatever it is you're grateful for, be grateful about it. And say it. I try to say it often. This is just something I do. You don't have to do it, obviously, because this is a free world. But this is just something I try to do. Sometimes I forget, but this is what I try to do. I try to write down three things every morning or at least throughout the day or throughout the week. Three things that I am truly grateful for. Maybe it's my mom. Maybe it's the friends that I've made. Maybe it's the pottery progress that I've made. Maybe it's the three sales that I've made. I try to write down these at least three things to be grateful for. And that just kind of boosts my overall mood about making pottery, about just life in general. So go out there and try to be grateful to whatever it is that is happening to your pottery, to whatever it is in your life. Because things happen for you, not to you. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one.